getting into some hip mobility. We want to be able to be functional at our hips. We want to be able to be able to rotate well. We don't want that to be a limiting factor in anything that we do, whether we're at the kitchen, at the baseline, anything within the sport, we don't want our hip mobility or any kind of mobility to be a limiting factor. So that being said, there's one progression of exercises that's pretty encompassing um, when it comes to internal and external rotation of the hip, right? Internal rotation would be when the femur turns towards the midline. So this way, internal rotation, external would be the opposite, going that way. Um, we wanna get stronger and better at it. So what we're gonna show you is you're gonna actually sit down on your, on your butt for me. And we're gonna do a 90-90 hip shift. So what that looks like. You're gonna start with your leg bent here. Drop it down, just like this, yes. <laughs> Relax there, so we're at a 90-90. That's, that's why it's called this, right? 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle. Our first progression, right? You've never done this before. We're gonna start because it's uncomfortable with our hands just like they are right now, right? <laughs> hands are behind her because this is, it's not a great position to be in. You're kind of in a compromised position. What we're going to do is we're gonna slowly shift our hips. So. You're gonna lead by shifting your hips that way with this one, keep this one down, slowly go that way until it can't go anymore and then this one's gonna slowly follow. Good, her hands are staying behind her. It's a, ideally we want her torso to be in an upright position, but that's fine, just how they are and we're gonna slowly come back. Now this one's gonna lead the way. Perfect. The back leg follows, we're still staying in this 90 degree angle. What we're doing here, one leg is in more of an external rotation position. The other leg is in more of an internally rotated position. Keep going for us. You're great, You're a great demo. Now, the next progression, one that will help her get into an upright posture is, hold on to this band for me with both hands. I'm gonna just pop over here quickly. I'm gonna kind of pull you into, into an upright posture. Ideally, if you have a pole or something, it'll hold on well. Now let's do the same motion. I'm kind of holding her into this upright posture. This gets her into a little bit more internal and external rotation at the hips. Makes it a little bit harder, but it gets her in a better position. Keep going back and forth for me. Relax. Let's say she's mastered this. She's crushing it. She's getting better in these positions. Now we're gonna do it with your arms out like this, creating tension. So I want you to squeeze your fist, create a bunch of tension, and now let's do the same thing, keeping the torso in an upright posture. Good, and back. She's already getting better. Her torso's in a good, good upright position. And back one more time. There's another way we can do this. We can add weight. We can add a kettlebell. Now she's gonna hold a kettlebell in this goblet position for us. Hold it just like that and keep this in a 90. It's all right. Now let's keep going. No, just hold it close to the body, it's fine. Now let's keep going. Back and forth. Now we're adding a little bit of load, just like that's kind of our typical progression, right? We wanna get comfortable in a pattern, be able to do it well, and then we can add load through that pattern. Do one more for me. Your hips are gonna be lit up, relaxed. I'll take that from you. Now. Now that we're proficient in the pattern, we wanna kinda of add a little bit to it, right? We added some resistance. Now we're gonna add an IR lift off. So it's gonna be a 90-90 hip shift with an IR lift off, an internal rotation lift off. So what that is gonna be, this is for, we get a little bit more advanced. We're going into the deep, deep progressions here. You're gonna rotate to the side. One more time for me, in a minute. Oh. You're gonna rotate, I'll, I'll just get out of your way. You're gonna rotate to this side. And then once you get over here on that leg, you're gonna drive your knee into the ground to lift your foot up. So I'll walk you through it. So let's slowly rotate back like you were, hands out in front, rotate over, slow and controlled. Now what we're gonna do, keep going. Now I want you to drive this knee into the ground and try to lift this foot off the ground. Ooh, yes, relax. Keep that toe pointed straight. Good, and hold. Three, two, one. Now let's go back to the side. Rotate again. Now let's do this side. Stay in the upright posture. Lift, hold, one, two, three, and go back again. 
Here we're working a little bit more of the glute muscles, a little bit more of these internal rotators. We're working to get strong in this pattern. Drive it up, hold, two, three, relax. You can just sit there, you can, yeah, you, you can relax. Now we're, we're working a little bit more of these internal rotators. We're getting proficient in the pattern. We're, we're getting a little bit more hip mobility and we're getting strong and being able to, to actually like drive the knee into the ground, work the glutes a little bit and then go back into the other side. Thank you.